David Orban, uh, algorithms are becoming more and more complex and, let we say, intelligent. What does it mean to us? We are delegating our activities, whether in our private lives or in our enterprises or smart cities, to more and more intelligent systems. When you uh, let your mobile phone to pick the next song that you will be listening to, that is this kind of smart decision making that your phone is making so that you can free to run or free to think and you don't have to decide what is the next song. When a mayor decides whether a street that is one way should be reversed, we don't need to wait uh, for the next election cycle to punish him because it was a wrong decision. We can just look at Waze or Google Maps and in a week realize that it was good or bad and then act as a consequence. And we define artificial intelligence really this strange uh, set of things that we cannot do. And we have this dream that sometimes our machines are going to become conscious and Hollywood uh, loves to turn those dreams in nightmares so that robots will fight us. But it is the case that smart algorithms don't need consciousness and awareness to be extremely powerful already. So we have to be on alert because our lives are going to be fundamentally transformed by them much sooner than we expect. So you say algorithms don't need to be intelligent, but we need an ethic to use them or to make them work. There is an evolution in our technology and uh, we derive value from that evolution. Uh, clearly, technology is not a zero-sum game, and it is shown by the fact that 10,000 years ago, we were a bunch of monkeys in the African savanna, well, let's say 100,000 years ago, and we are now 7 billion people who have profoundly transformed the entire planet. The Nobel Prize winning chemist Paul Crutzen calls our geological era the Anthropocene. We are now at a point where we can no longer uh, postpone the crucial point of creating a science and only after that an engineering of morality. Bronze Age clay tablets are not enough to tell us what is right and wrong when we delegate decision making to machines and we have to be able to have a very open, deep and broad conversation whether it is in corporations, whether it is in uh, policy making bodies and organizations like governments or parliaments or by, by smart and outspoken individuals of how to create this global civilization together with our machine friends that we can rely on and then swarm out in the universe. Fascinating. Thank you. Thank you.